Well, it's finally here, party people. The new header and footer builder for Astra has arrived and the update is available today. And I was actually live on Facebook and we were messing around with this header and footer builder. And I ran across some strange glitches, but overall it's a functional header and footer builder. It took me about 20 to 30 minutes to kind of get it down, but uh, this is now available for Astra users. Now this is available in the free and the pro version. So if you're broke and you got no money, you still get the header and footer builder. So congratulations. Now uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you some um, things that I ran into that I had problems with, just to make sure you don't have those same problems. Now I did have some sort of minor glitches here and there, but overall it's working pretty well. Now uh, the first thing you'll do is go to your themes and you need to update Astra to version 3.0. So you need to make sure that's the latest version. And once you do that, you'll need to do one more thing. Now there is an option to turn on and to turn off the header and footer builder. So by default, it'll say um, it'll say this right here. It'll actually have you on the old header styles. So you need to turn on the header and footer builder. You can do that again by going to Astro Options and clicking on Use New Header and Footer Builder, and then you should have it available on your website. So let's go ahead and mess around with it. Let's have some fun here. So I'll go ahead and refresh this page. Now it looks like nothing is there, and that's because I deleted all the elements. And if there's no elements, there's no menu. So that's why it looks like it's completely blank. So let's click on the header builder. Woo, here we go, here we go. So we have three rows. We have the top row, the middle row, and the bottom row. And we can add an elements. So you can click on the plus icon. Now I did find one, this is not really a, a glitch, but it's just kind of like a problem. If you're using the free version, it'll, it'll give you access to two buttons but you can only use one. So they're kind of trolling you in that way. So I spent like 20 minutes and I'm like, why is it the buttons working? And then looking at the free versus the pro, you can only use one button, but they give you the option for two. So I hope they fix that or change it or whatever. So you have various options to add an element. So you can add in a primary menu and I'll put this in the middle. All right, here we go. Ah, there we go. And then if you want to customize this specific menu, you'll click on primary menu and then you can design it from here. So you can, uh, you know, configure your menu under the design tab. You can have all these other options like hover, uh, sub menu, topography, spacing, the works. So you can go bonkers. You can get some beer, knock yourself out and, you know, get totally get wasted building your, your header. And you can design the colors and everything from this section on this gear icon. So I have mine as a gradient. You can also control the heights. So yeah, it's really weird looking. I'm sure there's a lot of reasons to do that, you know? I mean, uh, how far can we go? I mean, that's the question. If I put 700, will they allow me to do that? You know what, I don't wanna break this theme. You know, I don't wanna break it. Let's just, let's just, uh, let's just keep it clean here. So there we go. And um, yeah, design options, you can change it. You can have an image, you can have a color, and you can also have a gradient. And then of course you can add a button, uh, a button, a bottom border, <laughs> losing my English. And uh, you can, you know, design the row right there. Now let's say you want to add in something else. We can click on plus and let's say, what do we add at the top here? We added social, right? Social and account. We want to do that social and let's add in a accounts. Now, when I first used the social, I was kind of like, what the heck, man, they're all ugly. There's actually an option in the social that can use the native colors for the actual uh, website. So under the design under the color type, there is official and custom. By default, it'll be at custom, I believe. So when I first used it, I was kind of like, oh my gosh, man, I can't change the colors, this sucks. The options are there, you just gotta look. So, uh, but yeah, you can change this. Uh, there are other various options for the social. We can, um, you know, put Facebook, you can see, wanna take it off, will it still show? Ooh, I do like that. Ooh, that's a good idea too. So you can just get rid of that and just have the icons display like that. I think that's actually much better. We can hide it, which is interesting, or we can just delete it. I'm not really sure why that is. And there's also a lot of different various social networks that you can add. I don't even use half of these. I think VK, I think that's a Russian Facebook, I think, right? Oh, but look, they have VK twice. Oh, wait. Okay, so we did find a bug live, live. Here we found, I didn't see this last time. So it looks like they've listed everything twice, right? We got YouTube and we got, uh, well, yeah, I don't know. This is weird because they have VK, VK, and then they have, 
B haunts and B haunts again in YouTube. Yeah, so they list everything twice. So yeah, Astro, if you're watching this, we just found a bug live on, on YouTube. So there's that. I'm not gonna edit that out. But anyways, so let's say you wanna add in a third row. We can click on the plus and we can add in something like a uh, uh, secondary menu. Will that work? There we go secondary menu and then you can customize your secondary menu from right here so it's a very fluid interface i do think you have a lot of control with this header builder i do like it the only thing that i think they should do probably is with the neve theme i hate to be i hate to be a, a you know a, a, a nuisance here but with the neve theme you can actually shrink the elements like that so that's the only thing they could probably add but overall i really do like this header and uh, footer builder really fluid really simple to use um, one thing I want to do here is I want to add in buttons. So let's see if the buttons work. Let's see, button one and a button two. Does that work? Yeah, it does work. Okay, good. So it works. Yeah, I was messing around with this earlier. You can see it's stored in my cache. It's really, really ugly here. Uh, let's see, colors. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do this on YouTube here, but yeah, you guys get the idea here. So overall, you guys have a very fluid uh, you know, header builder. Let's take a look now at the footer builder. Let's see if that's working out. I did have problems with it a little bit, you know. The to be honest, the background color glitched out on me. So let's let's see if this works now. All right. So click on plus and let's add in something here of a footer menu. All right. All right. We got a footer menu. Oh, I think this is the glitch, guys. I think I found it. Let's click on the gear icon design. Yeah, I don't know where I can change that design. Okay, yeah, so uh, for some reason, uh, I, I'm not really sure why this is happening, but I, I can't change the actual uh, background here. It's like set to this default color that I had a while ago. Oh, wait, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, good. Never mind. Whew. Okay, my bad. My bad, Astra. It's, it's my fault, all right? I'm the idiot. I'm the idiot here. So let's see if we can add in more elements here. So uh, button two. Yeah, let's clean this up a little bit. Button two. Oh, that looks actually nice. I like that. And then we can add in something here on the bottom, like a copyright. Now, also what you can do is you can change the icons. So for example, if you want this as a one column row, you can have a layout like that or a two column row. And then you can change the layout as you wish a four column row. I do like that. That is very creative. Um, maybe they can add in one more, like the big one in the middle and the two ones on the end, but you know, that's enough. You know, I'm just being really picky. I'm just being annoying. So let's add in the copyrights on the bottom. And uh, we can customize the copyrights here, design tab. So yeah, that is a little strange. So I don't know why it keeps adding that color in there, but let's add in the background color. We gotta change it. Okay, maybe that's just some weird default thing they got going on. And then you could put in a background image if you wanna do that. Uh, that sounds a little crazy, but you know, everyone out there is crazy anyway, so that would work perfect. So let's see if we can just change the color of the actual menu. So click on the icon, design, and the text color, and we can change that to white. Ah, uh, you know, it takes a little while to kind of get used to it, kind of mess around with it, but overall the header and footer builder is very impressive. I do really like it. And again, if you do want to have access to the pro version, I have a 10% discount for the Astro Pro in the description below. Now, if you don't need the pro, you can just go ahead and take a look at the feature comparison. Uh, they do, they are very generous with the free version. You know, with the free version, you have access to um, the button and they give you some elements. In fact, what I can do here, I'll give you guys a bonus. I'll give you guys a bonus for those people who are just broke and got no money. I will deactivate the pro version and then we will mess around with it. So here we go. I'll deactivate Astro Pro. Hopefully nothing breaks. Let's see here. Oh, actually, let's see what happens here. I don't know because I have the pro elements on there. What, what happens here now? <laughs> I don't know. We're going to find out right now. Let's see. So we have the button. All right, everything looks good. All right, all right, I guess that works, yeah. Oh, yeah, button two is now invisible. So that's very strange. Before it was, I had button one and button two in the free option. So button one, and we could put it there, all right? All right, cool. So yeah, these are the general options for the free version. As you can tell, they're a lot more limited than the pro. And that's just because, you know, Astro wants you all to purchase the pro version because they have to eat as well. And you know, people all wanna make money. Let's take a look at the footer here. Whoa, 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 whoa. What happened there, huh? Footer builder? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see here. I can't go back, guys. I can't go back. No. No. It looks like I found something, and that's probably my mistake here. Let's just publish this, and let's just uh, let's let's take a look here. Let's see. I just got done telling you guys <laughs> how good the, the footer builder is, and here it is crashing. <laughs> Footer Builder. Okay, now it's working. All right, cool. It's working now. Footer Builder. All right, there we go. It's working. It looks like there is some sort of small minor glitch, but uh, now we can go ahead and add in the footer menu. And uh, man, that is, an, uh, that is the ugliest combination I've ever seen. Red with a gradient. Gradients are so hard to add on your website because they only work with white or probably black text, depending on the gradient, right? So... That's why I tell people, especially amateurs, I'm saying, guys, stay away from gradient. I know it's beautiful, but it's really hard to carry that gradient throughout your websites. Uh, we have the social icons there. Let's see if I can change the color here. Just give me a flat white, and there we go. So yeah, perfect. So yeah, you guys now have access to the header and footer builder. If you guys have any questions for me, uh, don't tell anyone about this menu. Uh, I, I can't even, we're not even gonna, yeah, let's just do that. Uh, also, one thing to note, guys, is that if it's not working for you, uh, what you need to do is go to edit page. I probably should have talked about this in the beginning of the video because I had the same problem. You need to make sure that the transparent header is disabled. Now you can have it on and then also design the transparent header, but if this is on, the header and footer builder will not work. So just keep that in mind because I was struggling with that for the first 10 minutes. And uh, I probably should add this at the beginning of the video, but I hope you watch it to the end and I hope I've uh, taught you guys something. So again, guys, that is the new header and footer builder. Uh, let me know in the comments if you use Astra, if you're excited about it, if you think it's uh, useless, if you think it's great, let me know in the comments below. And until then, I will see all of you party people in the next video, guys. Take it easy.